Are you ready for spiritual renewal during this Pentecost? In the Old Testament, Jewish people had three major feasts. They were Passover, the Feast of Tabernacles, and Pentecost or the Feast of Weeks. In fact, these three were interconnected. Through these feasts, they remembered the events in Exodus. They were also connected with the spring, summer, and fall harvests. Old Testament Pentecost was also called Shavuot in Hebrew. It means the Feast of Weeks. This name was given because the Feast of Pentecost was celebrated 50 days after Passover. Then the word Pentecost means 50th day. During the Feast of Passover, people ate unleavened bread and offered the first fruits of their barley harvest. On the other hand, seven weeks after Passover, during Pentecost, Israelites had to offer two leavened loaves of bread made out of the first fruits of the wheat harvest. After people gathered their harvest, they offered their first fruits to God as a token of gratitude. With this feast, they also commemorated the receiving of the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. Because of these important events, most of the Jews who lived in other countries around Judea came to the Temple of Jerusalem as pilgrims to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. After the ascension of our Lord, the disciples remained behind closed doors. According to today's first reading, we see how disciples were hiding in the upper room when the day of Pentecost came. With Mother Mary, the disciples were fasting and praying in the upper room. While they were united in prayer, the Holy Spirit came upon them with a strong rushing wind and the tongues of fire rested upon each of them. Then, in a moment, the disciples who were hiding were transformed with the power of the Holy Spirit. While ago, they were filled with fear and staying under cover. But as the Holy Spirit descended upon them, they were filled with courage and power. They were totally transformed. They opened up the closed doors and started bearing witness for Christ. At this moment, thousands of Jews had come to Jerusalem for the Feast of Old Testament Pentecost. They lived in different countries and spoke numerous languages. To their excitement, they heard the disciples speaking in their own language. The disciples experienced the renewal and transformation in Holy Spirit. Just as it is said in today's responsorial psalm, they went out to the whole world to renew the face of the earth. In the Gospel today, we hear these words of risen Christ to his disciples. Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. Jesus appeared to the timid disciples behind the locked doors. Jesus wished them peace as they were troubled and anxious. God the Father sent his Son, Jesus Christ, on a mission. Now God the Son sends his disciples on a mission. They are not sent alone, but with the Paraclete, the Great Helper, the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus breathed upon them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. So, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, they were renewed. They were transformed from their old nature to be powerful witnesses. Today, the Holy Spirit who came upon the disciples and who transformed them is the same Holy Spirit that dwells within you and me. It is the same Holy Spirit that we receive in baptism and confirmation. It is the same Spirit who forgives our sins in the sacrament of reconciliation. And the same Holy Spirit renews us each time we receive the Holy Eucharist. Today, we are in need of the renewal of the Holy Spirit. At this moment, amidst the present pandemic, many are suffering and dying. With the outbreak of wars, many innocents are paying the price with their blood. With lockdowns, many have lost their jobs and they are left with hunger. So, let us earnestly pray to the Holy Spirit 
to renew the face of the earth. We need this renewal in our countries and in our towns. But before that, let us seek where the Holy Spirit come and renew and transform us in our personal lives. There's a lot of hatred, selfishness, unforgiveness and many broken areas in our hearts. Let's pray to the Holy Spirit to come and renew us, to come and transform from our old nature to the newness of life. Let us pray, O come Holy Spirit and renew the face of the earth.